right, this is Billy Bob Tanley here, people. And I'm here to address Vince McMahon, all right? I'm going to censor things I say in this video, you know, because I say a lot of bad words, so I'm going to censor it, you know, and be honest of how much I hate Vince, but I'm going to be nice about it and give you my, you know, true feelings on him and why he should retire from the WWE. So let's get it on, guys. Vince, I don't understand why you're still in the fucking company. You know, you need to retire, son. You really do. You're like 70,000 years old. You got a son that looks like he's half your age. What the fuck? Actually, he looks like he's 60 because of his gray hair. And he's not in charge right now. It's still you. A fucker is so goddamn stubborn, he won't fucking pass the torch to his own son. And that makes zero sense to me. Let me tell you something, motherfucker. All you do is sit with your fucking headphones on backstage and you yell at all the announcers, you yell at people because you're not happy with this person, you're not happy with that person, you have personal issues with this guy, and I'm fucking sick of it. It's time for you to go home. You shouldn't be backstage yelling at people. You should be at home with your grandkids, counting some money or something. What the fuck? Why in the hell are you still with the WWE? I cannot understand that. It makes my brain want to turn to jelly and fucking spread peanut butter on a sandwich. But I'm asking you real nicely, motherfucker. You need to retire. Pretty please, please fucking retire. Please. We all want you to retire. It's not just me. It's billions of real wrestling fans that are fed up with your horse shit. You suspend a black guy because he tried to fucking touch you. Not really touch, but grab you and say ladies first. And you blow up over it. I guess it's because you're on that fucking human growth pill, whatever you want to call it, and you're on the fucking cover of fitness magazines, and you are had a damn senior moment. Motherfucker, I swear. You're always firing people. Didn't you? Oh yeah, he fired Brad Maddox, that's right. He fired him because he said, uh, cocky pricks. That was the dumbest shit I ever heard in my life. Mostly because the word, you know, cocky or prick, I can't remember what word it was exactly that got him fired. I think it was prick, um, whatever the fuck. I wish there was a big petition out to make Vince retire, or at least have him retire, like a billion people sign it. Please fucking retire Vince, but he's not going to because it's soon, it's his company. Should be a son's company, what the hell? I wish now that I could go back in time and support WCW, like everybody support WCW, and put fucking WWE out of business. Even though we loved WWF back, you know, then, we never dreamed it was going to become what it is today. Holy fuck, it's not even the same. Completely different. Childish PG horse shit. And there's no change coming to the WWE. Let's just fucking face the facts. There's no change. It doesn't matter if Shane, you know, he's going to be in charge of Monday Night Raw. Big deal, but... Who's running the show backstage? It's fucking Vince McCunk cancer. What the hell? <clears throat> Sorry about that, folks. No, I'm not. But all the dirty things Vince did, he needs to retire. Get the fuck out, please. I know I made a video once about Vince needs to retire, but fuck. He really, really needs to retire. Go away, Vince. You are a cancer. And take John Cena and take Roman Reigns with you. They're fucking secret lovers. Fuck. This is why I can't get into the product anymore. So much damage has been done. You got some kind of change with the women's division. It's now going to be called the women's division and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's not much change, just a change of name. You understand, motherfuckers? But 
but I'm trying to say it very nice. This is like my open letter message to you, Vince. It's time for you to go away, time for you to step down, you know, enjoy the fruits of your labor, go sit with your grandkids and count your fucking money and shove it up your ass. Because you have fucking spit in our faces forever. Used to have the balls the size of grapefruits, but now you got a balls of bitch. The real Vince McMahon got abducted by Alien Grays. Just like I was abducted by Alien Grays ten years ago. Well, he was replaced with the PG version, the corporate shit version. And I don't give a fuck, Vince, if you answer the stockholders, shareholders. I don't give a fuck. Tell them to go away. That's your fucking reason why you won't change your product? Bullshit. I don't give a fuck. You're still the owner of your own damn company, you piece of dumbass crap. Dog bird. Alright, I'm gonna go now. Vince, retire, you son of a bitch. Retire, retire, retire. Ooh. Saying it, just fucking retire. I don't know what to say. Go away, bitch. Fuck you, piece of cut shit. So, yeah, everyone, just leave your comments down below and you let me know. Do you think Vince needs to retire? Yeah, of course you all do. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go down for real. Like, favorite, subscribe, and all that bullshit. And yeah, and that's all I gotta say. My name is Billy Bob Taylor, and I approve this message.